Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, declaring that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. You know, I sure hope that you are rejoicing today. No matter what, give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. He deserves it. We're just doing the best we can with these little words that we have, but he deserves so much more. You know, if I had 10,000 tongues, huh, if I had a million tongues, it wouldn't be enough to say thank you. It wouldn't be enough to praise him and tell him how good he is. Well, friends, I'm going to tell you how good our show is today because the Lord has blessed once again, and the CBC radio show is fantastic. I've got some folks I'm going to tell you about who are going to be on the show today that I believe will simply bless you. But first, I want to tell you, make sure that your calendar is marked for the next upcoming Christian Business Connection Evening of Synergy Networking event. It's going to be Friday, May 13th, 6 to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. You know, we had our last evening of Synergy there in March. So if you missed it, oh, you don't want to miss this one. It's going to be fantastic. It's a great time to network, excellent networking platform, great food. The energy in the room is wonderful. Let me tell you, Synergy simply means coming together on one accord, coming together, sharing Sharing ideas. You know, we had folks in the room at the last evening of Synergy. Literally, they were meeting each other and making deals, signing contracts right there. So I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. You don't know how God wants to bless you and how you can be a blessing to them. Let me tell you, the tickets are only $10 in advance when you purchase them online, and they're 20 at the door. It's worth it either way you want to come. Go to my website for your advanced ticket purchase at www.thecbcradioshow.com. All righty. Now, let's get to our guest today. Uh-oh. One more thing. Let me tell you that one of the sponsors for our program today is none other than Chocolate Boutique. Let me tell you, friends, you've got Mother's Day, all types of special occasions coming up. And Chocolate Boutique is where you want to go for your custom design chocolate gift baskets and gifts. So give Chocolate Boutique a call at 314 314- Six four nine eight one six four. That's Chocolate Boutique three one four six four nine eight one six four. Call early so you can get your Mother's Day gift order in. All righty, my guests. We're going to be talking this morning with Apostle William Bingham and Pastor Ella Bingham of Perpetual Life Church. This week, April 27th through May 1st, is the Holy Convocation. That's right. The Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living Holy Convocation. It's going to be right there. Perpetual Life Church, 1400 Park Avenue. The speakers during the evening sessions which start nightly at 7 p.m. and the day sessions, the workshops, the praise and worship at 9.30. Let me tell you, you don't want to miss it. And look, it's all free. There's no registration calls. You can't miss it. Speakers are coming in from all over the country. It's going to be fantastic. So we'll have the Binghams with us this morning talking about that. We also have on the program this morning, Pastor Betty Randall of Perfecting the Faith Ministries. Pastor Randall is going to bless us as she gives a brief sermonette on spring cleaning. You know, we've been talking on the CBC radio show this month about spring cleaning, not only for your home, as we've had Miss Veronica Williams talking about cleaning and all these tips. But this morning, we're going to have Pastor Randall speak on spring cleaning cleaning for your spirit. Oh, she's going to bless you. She's going to bless you. We also have on the program this morning, Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry. Oh, you know her. She is our chiropractic physician, Dr. Tebow. She's a blessing. She's going to give more information, more insight into the world of chiropractic and how it is needed from your infant to as an adult. So you don't want to miss that interview. And then coming later on in the program, she's going to give us our weekly healthy living tip. 
she's a great blessing. Then we're also going to talk this morning to Mrs. April Fuller Kelly, an independent distributor for It Works. Now, let me tell you, she's going to give us just a little taste of what she's going to be talking about throughout the entire month of May. She's also going to be at the upcoming evening of Synergy, so you don't want to miss talking to her. We also include in our program today Dr. Gloria Johnson. She is our CBC Author of the Month, and so we've got a great infomercial that you don't want to miss about that book, I Cried Alone. It's going to bless you. As Dr. Johnson has been a blessing all month. My goodness, my goodness. So you can go, I'll tell you ahead of time, you can go to the website of the CBC Radio Show.com and get more information about everybody on the show and how you can get in contact with them. Well, look, friends, I'm going to take a short break. And when I come back, we're going to be speaking with Apostle William Bingham and Pastor Ella Bingham of Perpetual Life Church about the upcoming this week, April 27th through May 1st, Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living Holy Convocation. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event, an evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. The Christian Business Connection is proud to announce that in April, we will be featuring our Author of the Month series, featuring Dr. Gloria Johnson's heartwarming and inspiring book, I Cry Alone. Listen weekly in April as Dr. Johnson talks about this amazing book. Get more info and to get your copy, go to thecbcradioshow.com. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vance Watt. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. Org. God bless. Welcome back to the CBC radio show. Friends, we are so excited. The buzz all over St. Louis. We are ready, eagerly anticipating the upcoming Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living Holy Convocation starting this coming week, April 27th through May 1st at Perpetual Life Church. You know, right there located at 1400 Park Avenue. And we're so blessed to have in the studio today the hosts, my friends, of this amazing event that God is truly going to be glorified in. Apostle William Bingham and his bride, Pastor Ella Bingham. Welcome to the CBC radio show, guys. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. (laughs) Now, I should, one of these days, maybe one of the guests should ask me the question, but y'all know what I'm going to ask you. You, Who want to take it? Can I ask you today? All right. Evangelist Thomas, this is the day that God did what? (laughs) <laughs> oh, see, 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 you turned the, turn the word around. All right. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. There we go. That's so <laughs> wonderful. You got me. You got Thank me. You, you got me, Apostle. Yeah, I, I tell you, you know, we're buzzing. We're so excited about what God is going to do in these upcoming days for the Holy Convocation. Go ahead and set the stage for us. Would you, Apostle? Yes, this is the week. We're so excited. We thank God for The Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living Holy Convocation is here and has arrived. And starting off the first night on the 27th, our Covenant Church is going to be there. One of our keynote speakers, Pastor John Lemon and St. John, is going to be our host guest along with our host choirs, our Covenant choirs, our praise dancers. And evangelists, we're going to have a great time in the Lord. Yes, you are. And the thing that is so exciting about the Holy Convocation Apostle is that every single night is so specific 
that the Lord is going to do so much. I believe that if we come eagerly anticipating, uh, uh, he's going to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we can ask or think. What do you think, Pastor? I know that's right. (laughs) We have been praying and in the war room for our city, Mm -hmm. that God would make changes in our communities and that we would learn to love one another. This is 2016, a year of love. Mm -hmm. And in our uh, convocation that we're having, and the word convocation means the gathering Mm -hmm. of of God's people, Mm -hmm. convening, conversation, Mm -hmm. I mean convocation. The reason why I said that, uh, convocation does not mean a denomination. It means in the word of God that we are convening, coming together for one purpose, and that's to lift up the name of Jesus and that souls would be saved. And on our second night, Thursday night, we have uh, uh, Dr. J.C. Bingham, praise God, out of Florida now Mm -hmm. will be our guest speaker. But Evangelist Nona in the daytime. Those of you that are not working, we have magnificent classes, very informative and educational. We will have classes on how to aid your spouse. Uh, in this li- in this end time, mm-hmm. uh, it's very hard. It's going to be very difficult to have a powerless church hmm. in this mm-hmm. time because people are going to run to the church because they need God in the end time season. So that is why we are having these daytime classes. Uh, one, I'm going to be a well-dressed woman. Mm. And uh, uh, Dr. Glenda is going to bring that out. See, not only uh, your clothes, but a well-dressed woman for God. Yes, and yes. that's uh, vitally important. Amen. You know, uh, Apostle, not only do we have uh, the convocation, the gathering, bringing the people together, but this is something that has been ordained. This is the seventh year. Am I right about it? Amen. That is correct. The year of perfection, mm-hmm. God's perfect number. Mm-hmm. And I believe if you do something for seven years, you ought to have gotten it right by now. <laughs> by now. So by we now. thank God for kingdom mining. And evangelists, one of the, the scopes and the main emphasis that we're as Pastor stated, we're placing is that we're reaching out to the to the souls, but not only just reaching out to them for their souls, but to be a transforming in their minds that they would come to know uh, Christ in a, in, a, in, a, in a closer relationship with him. And in order to do that, we have to get our minds transformed and renewed. Yes. Through the word of God. And that's where all of our speakers will be giving a powerful rhema word for the city of St. Louis on that powerful week. And uh, talk about your speakers, my goodness. Apostle and Pastor Skip and Alicia Horton, oh my goodness, coming all the way from Douglasville, Georgia. Uh, We know he's great, great man of God. You've got Pastor John English coming in from Springfield, Missouri. Mm -hmm. Uh, Prophet Joseph Reed, I tell you, that man of God and his wife are just trailblazing across the country. We also have Pastor Jones of Antioch Baptist Church. He was on the program as well. Mm -hmm. And then you've got Bishop and Pastor Bracely from right here in St. Louis, great, powerful folks. And then you also have Apostle and Pastor Holly doing a great work. Apostle Dean and Octavia Stanley coming in from Kansas City. I could go on and on because there's even more that's not even on the flyer. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Amen. And we're expecting a tremendous time, yes. Evangelist, with all of these anointed speakers that's going to mm-hmm. speak a rhema word on kingdom minded for kingdom living. Mm-hmm. And as I stated earlier, this is the time that we are, as Pastor stated, we got to get our mind transformed because what the enemy is bringing at us now is going to be a lot of distraction and confusion. And we have to have the right mind yes. to face the enemy head on. Yes. And knowing that God has already given us the victory in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. I want to touch real quick also, as you mentioned on the mind, the name of the convocation, Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living. That's powerful right there. Mm-hmm. And that's what you've been teaching your church for years. Exactly. Because if you want to have a, a Kingdom Living experience, you got to kingdomize your thinking as our apostles say you got to customize your thinking yes. like you customize a suit you got to kingdomize your mm-hmm. thinking mm-hmm. to get it ready for these end times that we're living in evangelist thomas my goodness mm-hmm. pastor we are in severe I mean, it's severe times right now. And I know that you're not doing this just for something to do. 
You know what I'm saying? This is God ordained and it is necessary in the kingdom of God. Am I right about that, Pastor? That's right, hon. We are going to be kingdom citizens. So if you're going to be a kingdom citizen, Mm -hmm. you got to get ready and get your mind ready to receive uh, that eternal life. And Mm -hmm. if you're going to spend eternal life uh, uh, with the Lord, you need to be ready now by kingdom minded. See, Jesus is the king of king and Lord of lords. So therefore, we've got to get our minds ready to go uh, and live in the kingdom. And my heart go out uh, with with us today. We have uh, politics. We have everything that's a distraction yes. for people's mind. And their mind is not on um, uh, kingdom living because they really could care less because it's just here and now and what's going on in my world. Mm-hmm. But see, there's more than just your world. There is an eternal life that you need to think about. When we leave here, where are you going? Hmm. I want to go to that city. Yes, yes. Not yes. made by the hands of God. Hmm. And I want to get ready here to be uh, ready to go to the king of kings and to the kingdom. Amen. So that's Amen. that's what I'm saying. So we got to get ready and be kingdom minded. Amen. Amen. I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Apostle William Bingham and Pastor Ella Bingham of Perpetual Life Church. Now, the kingdom minded for kingdom living holy convocation coming up this week, April 27th through May 1st. Right there at Perpetual Life Church, 1400 Park Avenue, 63104. Now, Apostle, the services are, are, are uh, there's no cost for admission. There's no registration. Mm-hmm. No registration cost for the workshop. Am I right? That is correct, Evangelist. There is no registration fee. There is no cost. But you need to be there mm-hmm. to receive mm-hmm. what the Lord has prepared for us Amen. On the 27th of this month. Amen. You know, what I what I often say, and we think about it as salvation, it may be free, but it, <laughs> there was a great price that was paid. <laughs> right. Amen. Yes, this is a Lord. free event. This the, All of these days, the Holy Convocation, but there was a cost. There was sacrifices made by yourself and pastor and the speakers and all of that to come in to make sure that the people are taught and that the people are equipped. Am I right, Apostle? Yeah. That is correct. We're bringing some quality speakers from mm-hmm. all over the country. Mm-hmm. Pastor Jones from Oviedo, Florida. He's a powerful man of God. He's bringing along with him his singing entourage, his his his, his male chorus. They're going to be All with right. us, <laughs> and they're forty strong. And he's bringing Woo. also his church, and also Bishop J.C. from Sanford, Florida. He's going to be with us, and our speakers from Kansas City, the Stanleys. They are prophetic in the Word of yeah. God. They're yeah. going to bring a rhema word yeah. for us that Saturday. Yes. That's called our Youth Explosion Day, Evangelist. We're right. excited All about right. that. And then of course. So on Sunday, we're going to close out. And as Pastor stated, everything is dealing with bringing souls, the remnant. Now, we know everybody is not going to want to, but, right. but the souls that are supposed to be. God is seeking for you now to come in because we're living in some crucial and critical time, evangelists. Yes. Where means of, of their minds have been, been transformed by the enemy. And so we got to renew our minds to the things of God. Well, I'm excited about it. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there on Saturday night as I'm going to MC it. And, you know, when, when, I, when I'm at your church, I have to tell you, <laughs> I, I get so excited about the thing. And because the spirit of the Lord is there. Mm-hmm. You understand? The spirit of the Lord is at Perpetual Life. And I know God's going to do some great things. Pastor, you know, um, you all are so blessed at your church. You have uh, a daycare uh, that is entitled Ellis Angels. Am I yes, right about yes. that? <laughs> and so will any of those little angels be there, you think, on Saturday? Yes, they will. The daycare will be uh, uh, there to the government representing Ella's <laughs> angels. And so God is good. And listen, Evangelist, what I love about it, not only will daycare, but some of those parents have gotten yes, saved yes. because we're just not there just to, just to babysit. Mm-hmm. But we teach those children mm-hmm. and teach them and we witness and God is changing lives yes, of is. the parents. And um, we thank God for that. I often tell all my teachers, we're not just here, but we want to see the 
the God and the Lord change the parents' mind and life and lifestyle. Yes. Because we have children that today see our parents are doing too many wrong things yes. and that make a, a have an impact on those children. But when the parents come to know Christ as a personal savior, then they can instill more love, joy, peace in their children and we won't have such a violent world. Amen. You know, mm-hmm. I'll just uh, I, I wouldn't expect you all to 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 talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. The work that uh, you and Apostle have done in that area and other locations that you've been in. You all have been in ministry for so many years now mm-hmm. and the the partnering churches, the covenant churches. I can't even count how many folks you probably couldn't even count how many folks you've affected in your ministry. Could you, Apostle? That's right. Well, we thank God, Evangelist, because God has been so tremendously good to yes. us in in the ministry and he has blessed us exceedingly <laughs> but one of the things that, that 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 pastor stated again it is that that war room prayer mm-hmm. that have kept us kept us focused on the things of god uh, he said pray without ceasing that's what we're doing now even in this conference so i want to say to all of our st louis listeners mm-hmm. you don't want to miss this holy convocation the coming together of god's people he's calling us together that mm-hmm. we can get our minds transformed back to the things of god evangelism we, we're getting ready to see jesus yes. <laughs> and so i'm excited about that hallelujah hallelujah mm-hmm. apostle would you give the phone number to the church just in case folks have any question i'm going to give information as we get ready ready to close once again on the nights and all that good stuff. But can you give us the phone number to the ministry? The phone number is area code 314-588-9921. Repeat, area code 314-588-9921. Wonderful. Pastor, as we're getting ready to close, is there anything else that you'd like to say this morning? Well, we'd just like to say to the St. Louis area and East St. Louis and Alton and all those good places, Mm -hmm. we love you with the love of Jesus and we want you to come and just be blessed. Just just get revived. So our job is to go out in the highways and the hedges and compel men and women, boys and girls, Mm -hmm. to come to know Christ as a personal Savior. And if we don't do that, we're just mocking time. And time is too precious just to be mocking. We really want God to uh, transform people's minds. Amen. Amen. Anything else you'd like to say, Apostle? In no, no, no. Uh, uh, evangelist, I thank God. I, I was talking to Pastor and we were sharing some things. Listen, as, as she stated, we are once again seeking the things that God wants us to be doing in these end times. And that's the win souls. Mm-hmm. It's truly about souls. And so the, the coming together of this congregation, con- convocation, calling God's people together is to see an increase in the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. And we thank God that men's minds, as well as the whole body of Christ would come together, fitly join together. Yes. In our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's all about him. It's all about him. Well, I just want to tell my listeners one more time. You don't want to miss it this week coming up, April 27th through May 1st. The Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living Holy Convocation at Perpetual Life Church, 1400 Park Avenue. You don't want to miss it. Nightly services at 7 and the workshop started what time, Apostle? The workshop starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. We're going to start our praise and worship at 9. Nine, and at 10 o'clock, we're going to start our, our, our morning classes, and they're going to convene all the way until 1155, and then we're going to have our hour of power. What you say, our power. We need that. We need that. <laughs> Thank you all so much, Apostle William Bingham and Pastor Ella Bingham, for being a part of the CBC Radio Show today. Amen. Thank you, Evangelist. Right. Love, peace, and increase. increase. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, you heard it. Love, peace, and increase. We're going to take a break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event. An evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness.
Good morning, St. Louis and metropolitan area. This is Pastor Ella Marie Bingham from the Perpetual Life Church, 1400 Park Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri, 63104. I just want to invite you out to the Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living Holy Convocation, which will be held April 27th through May First, we have many teachers, preachers that's going to come and bring the word of God. We want to see you there. It starts promptly 7 p.m. each night. And guess what? We have daytime classes here starting at 9 o'clock in the morning till 1 from all the way from Arkansas, uh, Florida. We're just going to have a good time in the Lord. See you there. The Christian Business Connection is proud to announce that in April we will be featuring our Author of the Month series featuring Dr. Gloria Johnson's heartwarming and inspiring book, I Cried Alone. Listen weekly in April as Dr. Johnson talks about this amazing book. Get more info and to get your copy go to the cbc radio show.com welcome back to the cbc radio show i'm your host evangelist nona thomas and friends i told you that we were going to have a special special time this morning because pastor betty randall of perfecting the faith ministries is going to talk on spring cleaning and you know i'm not talking about just that cleaning out your physical house i'm talking about in the supernatural i'm talking about in the spirit so she's got a powerful word to share with you this morning so i want to welcome to the cbc radio show pastor betty randall good morning Good morning, Evangelist Nona. You know, I am. You, you know I'm going to ask you the question. You know, I couldn't wait to get to it. You know the question that's coming, what, don't you, Pastor? What, what's the question? <laughs> is this the day that the Lord has made for you? This is the day that the Lord has made. And you know what? Mm-hmm. And I will rejoice. And I will be glad in it. You, I promise you, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You got the Thank right answer God. all the time, Pastor. You got the right answer. Yeah. Praise <laughs> well, God. Well, I want to get right to it because Pastor Randall has a uh, strong, powerful word for us this morning. And as we have been talking about spring cleaning on our program, she's going to bring a word to talk about that spring cleaning in your spirit, in your heart. So all I can say is, Pastor Randall, take it away. Praise the Lord, um, uh, Sister Nona. It's just such a blessing to be able to speak to God's people. And this is, of course, this is Pastor Randall coming from Perfecting the Faith. And in order to perfect our faith, we got to go through some things. See, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. And in order to hear the Word of God, you got to put yourself in a position to hear the Word of God. You can't hear it in your bedroom by yourself. You got to study the word. You got to pray. You got to listen to the preacher. That's what he sent the preacher for, to bring and deliver the word of God. And so, with that being said, we 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 we're going to perfect our faith. And with that being said, we're going to go to Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, where where the Bible talks about seasons. And for every man, every woman, for everything. There is a season. There's a season to do spiritual things. There's a season to do natural things. And we're talking this morning about spring cleaning. You know, when the winter time comes in our lives, I don't know what season you are in your life, but when the winter time comes, uh, you know, we put a, a lot of stuff on hold. Because you can't do everything in the winter time because of the inclement weather. So we have to do things differently. But when the spring comes, the sun comes up, the grass begins to grow. Hallelujah. And the the uh, soil get ready for being tilted. Praise God. Our houses get ready to be cleaned out so that they can smell good. Praise God. And so, therefore... We're looking at the spiritual end of this thing. What 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 season am I in? Uh, am I ready for my spring cleaning? Praise God! Yes, I say yes. I'm ready for mine. Praise God! Well, well, what you gonna do? I'm gonna make new commitments. I'm gonna commit myself back unto the Lord. Hallelujah! You know what, Shanda? My body, 
belongs to God. Uh, he told me in his word that uh, I should commit my body to him. So commit, commit, you understand? Not just submit, but commit my body to him. Amen. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that over and over again. I'm going to repent over and over again. Praise God. I'm going to uh, see we're getting rid of the cobwebs, okay? I'm going to repent for the times that uh, I watched the wrong TV show in the winter time because I couldn't get out. Ha! I'm going to repent. Hallelujah. For the time that I should have been praying, but I wasn't during the winter time because it was so cold outside. Praise God. I'm going I'm to uh, repent. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And, and, and this is the word today. It's repentance. It's very powerful because when we repent, then God can use us again and again and again. We repent. We can toil the soil. We repent. We can tilt the soil. Praise God. Hallelujah. I tell you, God is just a good God, and he's waiting on us. He's, it's not his fault. It's always going to be our fault. So we have to repent, clean up again, and, and get our house in order so we can plant some more seeds. I can't go out and witness to uh, the masses if I got a lot of junk in my life, so I got to get rid of it. I got to wash it. I got to wash it in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, I tell you, this this is something else. And I just thank and praise God for all that he's doing and all that he's going to do. And bless you, Sister Noma. Praise God. Pastor Randall, I tell you, huh, Glory to God for your word. We just simply got to get it together. We got to get it together. And you know what, Pastor? I believe this morning the words that you have spoken, our listeners heard it. It's And it doesn't have to be uh, uh, somebody smiling about what you said, but it's spirit to spirit, isn't it? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Pastor Randall, I know that there may be some people who are listening right now who would like to have prayer. And uh, is there a phone number that you can give, Pastor, for your ministry? Amen. Amen. And that number would be uh, area code 314-974-5084. And we will be here for you. And if you don't get us on the first call, we'll call, we'll call you back. Yes, you will. Amen. Yes, you will. And let and, me and, and tell you, God answers prayer. Hmm. He answers prayer. Mm -hmm. And if you repent, you will be forgiven. Yes. Praise God. You'll clean that old cobweb out. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Now, Pastor, that, that was part one. Can you come back and give us a part two next week? Amen. All right. All right. Amen. We'll be looking forward to it. Pastor Betty Randall of Perfecting the Faith Ministries. Thank you, Pastor. Have a wonderful day. Amen. All Bless right, you. friends. We're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event. An evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. If you know someone that's in a domestic violence situation, here are some things that you can do to make a difference. Believe her story. Listen to her. Don't try to understand her dilemma. Just be there for her. Don't judge her. Be patient with her regardless of her actions. Help her to build a positive self-image. Realize that she may be in danger and may need your help. Help her discover a plan for safety. Give resources and help her help herself. And last but not least, pray. Also, you can encourage her to contact a domestic violence center like Life Source Consultants. The number is 314-524-0686. That's 
1-800-273-0686. Good morning, St. Louis and Metropolitan Area. This is Pastor Ella Marie Bingham from the Perpetual Life Church, 1400 Park Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri, 63104. I just want to invite you out to the Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living Holy Convocation, which will be held April 27th through May First, we have many teachers, preachers that's going to come and bring the word of God. We want to see you there. It starts promptly 7 p.m. each night. And guess what? We have daytime classes here starting at 9 o'clock in the morning till 1 from all the way from Arkansas, uh, Florida. We're just going to have a good time in the Lord. See you there. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be speaking this morning with our personal chiropractor. Yes, she is. Dr. Katrina thompson Boundary. She is a chiropractic physician. She's also known, as you may know by now, Dr. Tebow. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Dr. Katrina thompson Boundary. Good morning. Good morning. I'm happy to be back. Thank you so much, Evangelist Thomas. Oh, Thank you're, you. You're welcome. I tell you, you're a staple here at the Christian Business Connection. And you know I'm going to ask you, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Oh, yes, it is. And I'm glad to be in it. You are, Honey, uh, you're glad you woke up this morning that we're in the land of the living. Amen. <laughs> yes. That was the prayer that I have with my children today. And I'm trying to teach them how to be givers and not just receivers. So we pray for people who are less fortunate than us so that we can make some impact in their life as well while they're going through their struggle. So, yes, it is. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Amen. Amen. So when you came on the radio show previously, we were talking about how chiropractic can be so essential and helpful when you have symptoms of asthma, especially in children. Can you expound on that this morning, Dr. Baldry? Um, yes. I'm very, this is a very sensitive topic because even though my children don't have asthma right now, the season is definitely changing. And my two-year-old is feeling some of the changes. However, we have it under control, not only with chiropractic, but also with diet. And what I want people to understand with asthma is that um, asthma is really critical and crucial to your lungs. So if you have an adequate amount of breathing going on, it can affect your overall activities of daily living. And in children, this is very crucial because they're so small that they're using twice as much energy to breathe than we are. Mm, yes, yes. You know, I have learned so much about the medicine of chiropractic through talking with you and just realizing that it affects so many areas and things in our body. And the, not only uh, folks think about chiropractic, well, you know, if I'm in a car accident or have a sprain, but it's important just for maintenance in our daily living. Can you expound on that? Maintenance is so crucial. It is so critical. And especially in the African-American community, I have seen how we neglect taking care of our inner beauty. And our inner beauty starts with diet and our spine and our nervous system. We take for granted what we use. You take it for granted, for example, picking up that coffee pot off the table. That's your nervous system controlling the, most, the muscles in your movement in order for you to pick that up. And those things we don't look at. We don't take that as a, oh, maybe I should make sure that that is okay until something actually happens. That's when we go, okay, let's take a look at it. But I want you to be preventative about it. Let's make sure that nervous system, that motor control is all right, just like a highway with traffic. Don't just fill the potholes when we see it. But let's make sure we do periodic checkups down, up and down the highway to make sure that your nervous system is flowing correctly to those proper places. That's good. I like that analogy. What would you suggest, mm -hmm. Dr. Baudry, in the um, routine uh, of, of uh, going to a chiropractor, using your services just in daily living? Okay, with children, I always say at first after birth is very important. 
Um, immediately after birth, then you come back in three months because now we're dealing with, okay, my baby is growing, my baby is sleeping, may have some issues with constipation or colic, or even have issues with some immune functions. And especially with the weather change, you have to be very careful with that. That's when your child is probably going to daycare if you don't have a long maternity leave. Then the next uh, couple of months will be six months. You want to make sure that they don't find any signs of just mobility problems or chiropractic issues as far as then digestion. So you want to make sure with that while we're working along with the, the pediatrician. When you get older, your children will get older and they're in sports. So you want to focus on keeping their body aligned the entire time throughout this time because they can fall, they're jumping, they're moving, and they're just tumbling around. So you want to make sure they're there in tune. They have growing pains as well. But during those growing pains, you don't want to just give them a leave or a Tylenol. You want to get them adjusted because it helps dis with the discomfort that they're feeling to release a positive influence in those areas. And also when you're an adult, once or twice a month. So every once a month you can come in to make sure that you're properly aligned or once every two months you can come in or sometimes some people need it twice in one month. So it depends on the condition that you're in and how you feel your overall tune-up and healthy is as well. Well, I think that uh, initially uh, coming in and you're doing the initial consult consultation and, and medical information that you're getting, you can kind of give a good assessment as to where someone would be. Is, is that right? That is absolutely correct. Um, the schooling that we go under gives us a proper learning tool to examine you and your spine and understand whatever complex motions that you have. So the additional learning that we receive really digests and using our proficient skills that we have learned to help treat the conditions that you have or conditions that you don't have that you didn't even notice that you have. Hmm. So that's the importance of chiropractic. And I, and I always stress on starting at a younger age because children are destined for life, just like adults, and we go through changes. So when we go through those changes, we have to make sure that we are ready for those changes. You want to be prepared for it and not be lacker of the changes that are coming in our life. We want to be prepared and ready and geared for those changes that are coming. You know, as, as I said, every time we talk, Dr. Bowdry, you're just so informational. Would you let our listeners know where you're located, your hours of service, and all that good stuff? I'm located at 2101 Collier Corporate Parkway, St. Charles, Missouri, 63303. My number is 636 Three three six eight zero four nine six three six. 336-8049. You can come in and have a consultation with me. You can talk to me over the phone about your issue to see if I'm the best fit for you. And we can determine from there what's going on. I also want to say that chiropractic services are cheaper than you going to surgery. That's what we're trying to be. We don't want you to get that surgery bill and you look at it and go, oh, my goodness, this is a $200,000 procedure that I had to pay for. So we would like to figure out what steps we can take before getting to the end rodeo of going, I have to pay for this big surgery. Let's tap up the issue on the front hand where you're spending less money to make sure that you're maintained instead of, instead of spending more money in the long run. Wow, that makes so much basic sense. It really, really does. And, you know, we don't think about those things, like you said, until we get to that expensive uh, uh, medical bill and we've endured, you know, maybe things unnecessarily. Dr. Bowdry, uh, in your experience as a chiropractic physician, I know you have seen uh, some not so serious situations, medical matters with folks, to some very severe. And your compassion, as we know by now, is truly for your patient and for the community. So when you talk about the need for preventive maintenance, it's not just because you want folks to come in and, and, and make money. You really are concerned about your clients your, uh, and, and the community. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. I really am. Um, I, I was geared towards chiropractic not because it, was, it just fell in my lap and I had an accident of, oh, I was introduced because I was in a car accident. I was really introduced because I had to dig for my passion. And I dug for that passion due to 
my family around, my mother who's in the health care, my aunt who went to medical school, and I found my passion through that. My sister who is in the medical field, all of those people impacted my life on where I want to go. However, I didn't know it was chiropractic first. <laughs> I just thought it was the medical field. And I geared out towards that area to figure out, what is my true passion to see? And once I got into, I, I got accepted to dental school. I got accepted to doctor school. I got accepted to chiropractic school. But I had to choose what was the area for me. And I shadowed these areas, and I saw a need and a lack of foundation in the African-American community in chiropractic. And that really thrived me to figure out, what is the myth? concept that we're having here. Why is the light bulb not on for us to figure out what can chiropractic do for us? And so that geared me. And that geared my passion to turn it on even more, to thrive more, to reach as many people that I can, to let them understand this is not about money. The money will come eventually when you're serving God's purpose. And I really, truly feel this is my calling to serve the purpose of chiropractic and spreading the word throughout the community of what I can do for others and how I can make this part a preventative measure and be proactive instead of waiting on the back end. Well, I just want to say I'm so grateful to God that you accepted your calling and you were obedient and that he placed you right here in the St. Louis metropolitan area. That's okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. I'm, I'm happy about St. Louis. Well, you know, Dr. Baudry, we are uh, soon going to be having our next evening of Synergy networking event that's going to be uh, May 13th, which is a Friday mm -hmm. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. We truly hope that you will be there because folks can actually have a hands-on, you can talk and all that good stuff. So we hope that you're going to be at the Evening of Synergy. We need you there, Dr. Baudry. Absolutely. You know that I will be there. Be there in full attendance. If anyone has questions for me, dealing with any type of immune issue from fibromyalgia, there'll be later on in our discussion when we do other interviews, to low back pain, which is very common, I will be there to help try to guide you in order the duration to have you come see me and do other things as well that can help you along in the future. Right. Now, we're just about out of time, but I just would be remiss if you did not give us information on how to reach you on Facebook, Dr. Tebow, and, and also you're known as the pocket doctor. So I need you to hit that all real quick, <laughs> would you? <laughs> all right. You can follow me on Facebook at Dr. Katrina thompson Boundary. You can follow me on Instagram at the Pocket Doctor, T H E P O C K E T D R, because I'm the pot, the doctor in your pocket. So please follow. And also, if you have any health concerns or questions, you can call me at 636 336 8049. Give it to us one more time, would you? Okay. You can hit me on Facebook at Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry or Instagram at The Pocket Doctor, T H E. P O C K E T D R, or you can call me on my phone, which is 636 336 8049. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for being a Thank part you. of the CBC radio show. And you know what? We're going to look forward because later on in the program, you're going to give us our weekly healthy living tip. Am I right? Yes, please be intrigued by this one because it's very critical to the season and changes. Please. All right. All right. You heard it from the doctor. You heard it. You got to stay tuned so you can hear the healthy living tip. Thank you again, Dr. Katrina thompson Bodry, for being Thank a part you. of the program. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Welcome back to Dr. Tebow's Healthy Living Tip, and today's Healthy Living Tip is about asthma. Asthma is a lung problem or a disease that causes your airways to become obstructed. Asthma is caused by an overreaction to your body's own immune system. Typically, symptoms of asthma makes you feel like your body is under attack and that causes you to starve for air. The symptoms can include coughing, wheezing, tightness of the chest, and difficulty breathing. So here are some healthy living tips that you can follow. Number one, include garlic and onions in your eating habits. 
These foods inhibit the release of anti-inflammatory chemicals. Number two, do not eat or consume ice cream or drink cold liquids. This can cause your bronchial tubes to go into a spasm. Number three, eat more fruits and vegetables. Asthma symptoms in children and adults who increase vitamin C and vegetable intakes showed an increase in lung function. Number four, chiropractic. Studies have shown that adjustments made to the spinal column in asthma attacks and a decrease in 67% of medication usage. Remember, chiropractic does wonders and you should try it. The seasons are changing and so are you. So make sure your spine is properly aligned too. This This is Dr. Tebow. You can reach me at 636-336-8049. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event, an evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be speaking this morning with Mrs. April Fuller Kelly of It Works. She is an independent distributor. And I tell you, there is something new that is hitting St. Louis. You have just got to hear about it. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to ask you a question before we get started. I didn't prep you, but I ask everybody who comes on the show, and that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Oh, yes. <laughs> it is. You're rejoicing and you're glad in it? I'm so glad and blessed. <laughs> you know, April, I'm really excited about the uh, the healthy living aspects of It Works. Also, the uh, n- nutritional supplements. I mean, there's so much that's involved in this company and I know you're going to be with us through the entire month of May talking about It Works but just a little teaser can you tell us a little bit about um, the weight loss program yes well the weight plus the weight loss program that I started with was the wraps um, that is the most important thing that we have as far as our products um, it's our most popular um, item <laughs> And uh, what the wrap does is you put it in your stomach and you just let it sit. You don't want to sweat with it on and you lose weight within 45 minutes. Um, I've tried the products and they do work and it's just amazing the results that you can see. Wow. And you know what What I think in, in the days that we're in now, folks are looking for something that works. <laughs> something that's not hype, something that actually helps them feel better in healthy living. And you're going to be talking in the month of May about how this program can be a blessing to many people. It, do you promise yeah. you'll be here talking about it? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to also say that you will also be at the upcoming Evening of Synergy networking event on Friday, May 13th. And so you can personally uh, introduce the products to folks then. Am I right? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Can you give us your website and your phone number just in case people have questions right now about It Works? Yes. My um, website is www.itworks.com slash April Fuller, 87. Give it to us one more time, would you? Yes, it's www.myitworks.com slash April Fuller, 87. And your phone number? Yes, my telephone number is 217-741-1890. One more time for us, would you? Yes, 217 217- Seven four zero seven four one one eight nine zero. Great, great, great. I am so excited. So we're going to have an entire month of May. I'm so excited that in the entire month of May, you're going to be giving us all this great information about It Works. Thank you so much, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly of It Works for being on our program today. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Remember that you can go to the website of thecbcradioshow.com for for more information about all of our guests. I'll be right back. Good morning. This is Veronica Williams 
with Williams International. This is a spring cleaning tip for today, Sunday morning. The cleaning tip is for your air conditioning and your venting. The tip that I would give for you all today during spring cleaning is to take a common tool that we all have in our homes is vacuum cleaner or a wet vac. Take it and put it into your vent and actually suck out all the dust that are, that's in your vent. Um, it will help with clearing out all the dust that comes out when you turn your air conditioner on or your heat on to blow, you know, the hair around the air around your home. Um, it, it works well for me. Um, I have allergies and it helps keep down the dust and all the other debris that would normally blow out from the venting. Again, this is Veronica Williams with Williams International, and I am giving you your cleaning tip for today. To contact us, you may call at 314-323-1877. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event, an evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vance Watt. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. God bless. Friends, I tell you, today's program was just a blessing. I'm so excited about what God did. We have some amazing guests here on the CBC radio show. You know, if you would like to be a guest on our program, give us a call at 314 314- Two seven zero two 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 five. We're simply going to be talking about your business, your ministry, your organization, your upcoming event, letting folks know what you're doing. Well, I want to thank Apostle William H. Bingham and Pastor Ella Bingham of Perpetual Life Church. We are counting down the days to the beginning of the Kingdom Minded for Kingdom Living Holy Convocation, April 27th through May 1st. It's going to be at Perpetual Life Church located at 1400 Park Avenue. Great, great, great things are going to happen, my friends. You don't want to miss it. Speakers are coming in from all across the country. 7 p.m. nightly and workshops daily starting at 9.30. I also want to thank so much for being a part of the program today. Pastor Betty Randall, she blessed me of perfecting the faith ministries as she was speaking on spring cleaning. Spring cleaning. She's just a blessing to me, to the CBC radio show family. God bless you, Pastor Randall, for your own time word. Also want to thank this morning, Dr. Katrina thompson Boundary, our resident chiropractic physician right here at the CBC radio show. Dr. Tebow was fantastic. We thank her for being on the program. Always, she is a blessing and so wise, so much information. Then we also want to thank Mrs. April Fuller Kelly, an independent distributor of It Works. She just gave us a little taste today, but she's going to fill us up during the month of May talking about It Works with an exclamation point. okay? and she's going to be talking more in detail about what works. okay? (laughs) then also I want to thank Dr. Gloria Johnson, our CBC author of the month. Dr. Johnson has blessed us 
the entire month of April talking about her book, I Cried Alone. I want to encourage you to get your copy of this amazing book. Go to our website, thecbcradioshow.com. You can go on Amazon Books. There's so many ways to get your copy of I Cried Alone. And then, of course, thank you so much, Miss Veronica Williams, for giving us our weekly spring cleaning tip, you know, in the natural, about those things that you can do for cleaning your home during this time of year. We have had a wonderful show. I really can't tell it all. I can't. I can't tell it all. All of our sponsors. I want to thank also Chocolate Boutique. Oh, my goodness. If you want something that's beautiful, delicious, their chocolates are fantastic. With Mother's Day coming up, it would be wonderful to give a special custom design chocolate basket to that special mom, mother in your life. All right. Give Chocolate Boutique a call at 314 314- Six four nine eight one six four. That's Chocolate Boutique three one four six four nine eight one six four. Now, don't forget, friends, go to my website so that you can get more information about the upcoming Christian Business Connection Evening of Synergy. It's Friday, May thirteenth, six p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. The tickets in advance online are only ten dollars, and they're twenty dollars if you'd like to pay at the door. It's a great deal regardless of how you do it. You just got to be there. I want to thank everyone for listening. Thank you for my listeners on iHeartRadio.com. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you, everyone, for being a part of the CBC Radio Show today. Yes, you are. As always in closing, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.